So hello everyone. Uh, welcome to another video session class. So in the last video we have studied about uh, introduction part of anti-amoebic and and helminthic drug. There we have learned what is amoebiasis, then what is helminthiasis. Okay. So today we will start uh, start about uh, today we will study emetin. That is one anti-emetic amoebic drug emetin. Emetin which is a natural drug okay it's obtained from natural source so what is emetine it is the principal alkaloid of ipeca okay that is the ground roots so what is ipeca ground roots of so this is the scientific name of the plant Uragoga Uragoga Ipeca Guana Okay, I am writing here Ipeca Guana Okay So this is the emetine It is the principal alkaloid of Ipeca That is the ground roots of Uraga, Uragoga Ipeca Guana And this belongs to the family Rubis Rubia C. Okay. Rubia C. So it is the family of that plant. So this is about uh, this is the emetin. So and it is obtained from Uragoga, roots of ground roots of Uragoga, Ipecaguana, which belongs to the family Rubia C. Okay. So Next, how it is obtained, this extraction, okay, so how it is extracted or obtained, obtained, so it is obtained by to isolation of, isolation of or extraction of total alkaloid, total alkaloid using suitable suitable solvent okay so it is isolated or extracted uh, as a total alkaloid using suitable solvent and after that one we have to so there you get lots of alkaloid so after total alkaloids you have to separate emitting by chromatographic chromatographic separation you have to remember separation by chromatographic chromatographic technique okay so you can use TLC or other advanced chromatographic technique so in this way you can obtain your emitting okay so after that we we'll directly go to the properties so what are the properties of this pure emitting why I am telling pure because emitting hydrochloride is also there as a salt hydrochloride salt emitting hydrochloride is also there so first we will study about the pure emitting so properties it is white in color white in color then it is amorphous so till now maximum drug we have seen are crystalline but this emetin as a pure form it is amorphous in nature then we will see what is melting point so its melting point pure emetin melting point is 74 degree celsius so it melts at at sharp temperature that is 74 degree celsius but while studying this one emetin hydrochloride this salt you will get the melting point ranges ok so this is the it is white in color, then it is amorphous in nature and its melting point that is melts at 74 degree Celsius. So next about the solubility properties, solubility. So solubility profile. So it is freely soluble soluble in 
You just listen carefully. Carefully, it is freely soluble in methanol. Okay, then ethanol. In ethanol also, it is freely soluble. Then acetone. Then ethyl acetate. Okay, ethyl acetate. So it is freely soluble in methanol, ethanol, acetone, uh, acetone. Then in ethyl acetate. It is freely soluble. Then sparingly soluble. Sparingly, sparingly soluble. Sparingly soluble in water. Then solution of KOH. There is potassium hydroxide and NaOH. So in solution of KOH and in solution of NaOH it is sparingly soluble ok then chloroform also ok so it is sparingly soluble moderately soluble so it is moderately soluble soluble in dilute solution of dilute ammonium hydroxide ok Ammonium, ammonium hydroxide. So, this is the case. So, it is moderately soluble in dilute ammonium hydroxide. Okay. So, next, after solubility, you just remember what property that solid of this or Pure emitting darkens or turns in darkens turns in yellow color upon contact with light and heat. So if we, if this emitting come in contact with light and heat its color will turn in yellow color okay so this is about emitting so next we will see emitting hydrochloride because most of the drug or maximum drug you will find apart from the standard drug you will find if it is available in the drug form then you will find that one in emitting hydrochloride salt okay that is HCl emitting HCl so next we will study Next, we will study emitting hydrochloride. Okay, hydrochloride or HCl in bracket you can write emitting hydrochloride. So, directly we will go to properties. Okay, so it is white or Slightly, slightly yellowish in color, then it is odorless, it is crystalline, crystalline in nature. Okay, so it is white, in, white or slightly yellowish in color, it is odorless, then it is crystalline in nature. Whereas, if you remember the earlier one that is only emitting pure drug, it is in amorphous form. Okay, but em emitting hydrochloride is crystalline in nature. Okay, so next again the property. So Emitting is emitting hydrochloride, emitting hydrochloride salt is uh, the melting point of emitting hydrochloride if if dried at if dried at one zero five degree Celsius it melts so it will melt at around. 235 degree Celsius to 255 
degree Celsius. So you just see the earlier one only emitting it is having 74 degree Celsius, but here the emitting hydrochloride. Okay, emitting hydrochloride melting point ranges from 235 to 255 degree Celsius. That is a wide range. Okay, and you remember this emitting hydrochloride salt contains. So this emitting hydrochloride salt contains. Uh, contains 3 to 8 molecules of water okay H2 of water so it contains 3 to 8 molecules of water okay that is the water of hydration or hydration water that is the crystalline form may contain 3 to 8 molecules of water molecule okay water so it's melted 235 to 255 degree Celsius if you dry that one at 105 degree Celsius. Solids, so solid, solid or solution trans, trans to yellow color so same like the earlier one emitting so solid or solution of this emitting hydrochloride turns to yellow color yellowish upon uh, contact with contact with what the earlier one light or heat okay light or heat so this is the thing Okay, so solution solid solution turns to yellow color upon contact with light or heat. So next we will see uses. So uses of this emitting hydrochloride or emitting whatever you say. So uses it is used as emobicide, emobicide and lungworm, lung one infections okay lung lung one infections and it is also used for so it is also used for hepatic hepatic amoebiasis Hemobiasis or severe severe intestinal intestinal hemobiasis. So hemobiasis related to other intestinal hemobiasis or the hepatic that is lung affecting the lung. Okay, hepatic means affecting the lung. So hemobiasis due to this uh, hemobic infection in the lung. So that time it uh, it is also used. But remember, nowadays this one is not used much for this hepatic and severe intestinal hemobiasis. Rather than this, metronidazole are used, being as the metronidazole are less toxic. Okay. So these are the uses. Next we will see the formulations. Formulations or preparations or preparations okay so emitting BP then IP then emitting this is emitting hydrochloride okay hydro right bp and ip then emitting injection bp ip then emitting hydrochloride injection hydrochloride injection injection as per usp okay that is the united state 
pharmacopoeia, okay? As per PIG, this is British pharmacopoeia, Indian pharmacopoeia. Then, as per injection, as per PIG, this is British pharmacopoeia and Indian pharmacopoeia. And then, imagine hydrochloric injection as per UST, okay? So, this is all about the emitting and emitting hydrochloride. So, friction may come. So, write short notes on like friction may come. Write properties. Right friction, like right properties of emitting. Okay, so two marks you may get. Then write short notes on notes on emitting hydrochloride. Okay, so you may get two or three marks like this. Okay. So this may be the possible question. So I hope you have understood. So next in the next video we will study about the metronidazole and other drugs. Okay. So.